Hiya, Mick here, and in today's video we're looking at tides. Tides refers to the daily rise and fall of the sea level, but why and what do we need to know about them? If we wanted to get into our local beach and maybe build sandcastles or fly kites, we might want the tide to be out. Whereas if we wanted to go down and maybe launch a kayak, maybe we'd like the tide to be in. What causes this tide to come in and go out? Well, first of all, about 70% of the planet is covered in water. There's a number of factors that affect the movement of this water, but the main one for the tides is actually the moon. The moon's gravitational force pulls the mass of water towards it, giving us the high tides, and perpendicular to this then, we get our low tides. Combining this with the Earth's rotation means that the height of sea level at any one point will change during the day. So if I place a marker here in Dublin at high water, six hours later, as the air rotates, we'd have low water, Six hours later again, we'll have a high water, and six hours later again, we're back to low, due to the fact it takes 24 hours for the air to do a full rotation. So where do we get tidal information from? Well, we could Google it for a certain location. We could use one of the many apps that are out there which get the location from your phone, or maybe we could get a tide tables from our local chandlery. Looking at the tide tables here, we see it's for a specific place. This one is Dublin North Wall and also a specific date. This is shown November 2017, and we're going to look at the 4th of November, the Saturday. On that day, we can see at 11.27, we have a height of 4.3 metres, and then at 16.54, we have a height of 0.3 metres. So that tells us that at half 11, we'd have high tide, and at 5 o'clock, we'd have low. So if I was to go down to the pier here at 5 o'clock, I'd probably find that I wouldn't be able to launch my boat, I wouldn't be able to fish off the pier. I could probably play in the rock pools okay, but if I was to be down at half 11, I'd have no problem doing everything. If we move on to the Sunday, we can see that high water then is 10 past 12, and low water is, well, not long after half past 5. But why is there a difference in the time of high water today and high water yesterday? So we'll go back to look at our image of the planet and its mass of water, which is mainly affected by the moon and its gravitational pull, but it's also affected by the sun and the gravitational pull of it. As the Earth rotates on its axis, once every 24 hours, giving us our high and low waters, we also have the moon rotating around the planet, the moon taking one full month to complete a rotation. And together then, we go on our yearly rotation around the sun. But these paths and rotations are thankfully very predictable, and are able to be put into a table format, which we refer to as our tide tables. In a future video, I'll look at applying these tidal heights to our navigation chart, but I'll also look at how to work out tidal height at times in between high and low water. But that's all for now.